Comparing smooth and continuous graphs. The degree of a polynomial function helps us to determine the number of x-intercepts and the number of turning points. A polynomial function of nth degree is the product of n factors, so it will have at most n roots or zeros or x-intercepts. The graph of the polynomial function of degree n must have at most n minus 1 turning points. This means the graph has at most one fewer turning point than the degree of the polynomial, or one fewer than the number of factors. A continuous function has no breaks in its graph. The graph can be drawn without lifting the pen from the paper. A smooth curve is a curve that has no sharp corners. The turning points of a smooth graph must always occur at rounded curves. The graphs of polynomial functions are both continuous and smooth. Intercepts and turning points of polynomials. A polynomial of degree n will have at most n x-intercepts and n minus 1 turning points. For example 10, we want to determine the number of intercepts and turning points of a polynomial. Without graphing the function, determine the local behavior of the function by finding the maximum number of x-intercepts and turning points for the function negative 3x to the 10th plus 4x to the 7th minus x to the 4th plus 2x cubed. So the first thing we need to do is identify the degree. Well, the degree is 10. So since the degree is 10, that's going to tell us that we have at most 10x intercepts. Now we're going to take that 10 and we're going to subtract 1 to get 9. And we're subtracting that to tell us how many turning points there are. So there's going to be at most 9 turning points. So the polynomial has a degree of 10. So again, there are at most 10 x-intercepts and there are at most 9 turning points.